Hi guys, this is Dr. Joseph here. Um, today we have a different uh, data sheet. Um, in the, let me explain the data sheet first and then I'll tell you what we're going to, to do with that. So this data sheet has a couple of columns. The first column has the names of different customers and um, it seems that some amount payment is due from these customers. The values are given over there. The date of ordering of the products are given over there. How much credit days they enjoy. Each client has different uh, credit days. So the credit days are already given. So we have to calculate certain things. So now here I have given the objectives like we have to calculate the due dates. We have to calculate the number of days already allowed. And then we have to use the logical function to find out the OD cases we have to use the range function so we'll see one by one first we have to calculate the due date so here we have the order date and then we have the credit date and credit days and then we have to calculate the due date due date is something like this by that date um, before that date the client should have made the payment so here, say for example, 1st July 2018 is the order date. The client has 30 days to make the payment. So within the 30 days, he has to make the payment. So my question is, how do you compute the, compute the due date? So Excel has a couple of date functions. And um, um, it, it sometimes, you know, it's very handy. So there are a number of functions, but I'll take you through simple calculations which you may come across and then which may be useful for you uh, since Excel is comfortable with uh, computing with dates now here what we will do is in order to calculate due date I have to add 30 number of days to this particular date so in Excel it's very simple it is similar to normal addition because Excel is comfortable with uh, data format of the data so generally how do you add suppose if you have to add these two cells over here and if you if I want the result here we start with equal to and then we just say click on this cell plus click on D2 and then you should get the result so it is as simple as that to calculate the due date so we'll start with equal to let me click on C2 plus D2 when I press enter, you can see your Excel did not give an error message or did not give a numeric output, but instead it gave a, a date output. Now, 1st July 2018 is there, 30 days are allowed within which the client is expected to make the payment. So the due date for payment is 31st July 2018. <coughs> so the same formula can be copied to the entire list of almost we have 30 different uh, clients. So how do you copy it? We saw it in the previous videos. Um, just move your mouse to the right bottommost corner of the cell until it turns into a dark, short, black plus symbol. And then at that point you just double click. You can see that Excel copied the formula for you and the dates are already computed. That is first one. Second one I wanted to teach you is now we have to calculate the number of days over due. So this is the due date and uh, the actual sheet, sheet says that uh, for this client say for example ABC this much amount of uh, money is due beyond this particular date which is 31st July 2018. So today's date is um, 10th November even now this particular client has not made the payment so our idea is to calculate you know how many days it has been overdue so if the client has made the payment by 31st july in this case then it is not overdue even after 31st july the client has not made the payment it means that particular payment is overdue so we have to calculate the number of days for which this payment is overdue why? Because you as a uh, you as a <coughs> the business, you may probably penalize your um, you know, customers, or you may 
uh, try to charge them with some additional interests or uh, you may think uh, about going legally against the client if the payment is due for a longer period or you may take some any other corrective measures uh, if the due date is um, you know not much longer so calculating the number of days you know it does overdue is very essential over here so how do i compute this so now even today this payments are over, overdue so we have very simple formula over here we have a, i'll also introduce a date function called as today over here to compute this particular uh, number of days overdue so we start with equal to so this is the due date so i'll type e2 minus you have to type today t o d a y and excel automatically brings the today function you just double click open bracket is there we have to just close the bracket so the formula is e2 minus today means i am subtracting the due date from today's date and i press enter you can see i am getting the result in negative minus 102 days it means for 102 days this particular payment is still pending even today he is not made it means he is supposed to make the payment by 31st july 2018 but today being 10th of november till the payment is due so same formula we can copy it just move your mouse button to the right most bottom corner until it turns into a dark short plus symbol and then you just double left uh, using the left button you just double click over there and then you can see the uh, excel computed all the number of days over due and if you observe almost all the values are negative except uh, for this client where the due date is actually 5th january 2019 so this guy enjoys almost 180 days of credit period so he has a couple of days more uh, so he has exactly 56 days um, to make his payment so this is how we use uh, date function when you go to the formulas menu you have a separate option which says date and time and you can see there's the n number of uh, you know date functions available and um, we can experiment with this and uh, learn but you know this is an interactive uh, video series so this is a simple way to use date function in your excel um, in the computations thank you thanks for watching we'll uh, use uh, a logical statement which is if in the next class and we'll see the other things in the next video thank you bye